Hello, my crafty friends. Well, today we are going to play around with another fun card making technique, and this time it involves plastic wrap. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have four different ways that you can use this plastic wrap technique in your card making. Now, the cards in this video feature the Darling Details bundle from Stampin' Up! And this particular bundle comes with a stamp set and a coordinating die set. However, keep in mind that you can use any stamp set or supplies that you have on hand with this particular technique. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so first let's talk about the technique. So basically you're going to be using some plastic wrap. So this is just like saran wrap or just any kind of plastic wrap that you have um, that you would use to cover food or you know that you would use in the kitchen. So I just cut a piece and basically what I'm going to do is just kind of crinkle it together into a little ball and you don't wanna make it like super tight. You just want to get some good crinkles in there. And that looks pretty good. And we're going to use this to do our stamping. So we're going to be stamping some different backgrounds using this plastic wrap. So I'm going to be using bubble bath ink, but you can use any ink color that you want. This technique will work with anything. So basically, I'm going to start with a four by five and a quarter inch piece of white cardstock. And the first way that I'm going to use this is I'm just going to use this across this whole entire piece of cardstock. So notice how I inked it up and you just kind of blot it on and you see it gives just kind of a fun little texture on the background. And you can add as much or as little texture as you want. All right, so we have a nice little background, and the very first card that I created is this card. So I basically just used that Darling Details stamp set to create a fun little scalloped edge and then added, you know, my focal point and some designer paper. Now I'm using some designer paper from the Delightfully Eclectic Designer Series Paper Pack. But again, you can use any designer paper that you have on hand. So I'm not gonna go through how to put the card together. I do have a printable tutorial. So it is linked in the description below this video. So you can download the tutorial for all four cards. What I really wanna do today is just focus on the technique itself. So the second way that you can use this technique is you can still use the same paper. And this time what I'm gonna do is just do a partial um, kind of like you do partial embossing. Well, this is partial plastic wrap texturing. <laughs> so I'm just going to use it not on the whole entire piece of cardstock. So it's the same size piece. It's the four by five and a quarter. I'm just going to use it down the right side of this piece here. And so it gives, you know, just a really fun look. And then the card that I created with this particular piece looks like this. So you get a really nice little texture on the side and then you can create your little focal point for your card. All right, and then the third way that I use this is I just did the texture right on a card base. So this is just your standard card base. It's five and a half by eight and a half, scored in the middle at four and a quarter inches to create the base of the card. And this time I just wanted to add some texture kind of right down the center because what I'm going to do is create like a little window on my card. So let's get some more texture on here. And I try to keep it, you know, just kind of in the center here. And the piece that I'm going to be adding is like a rectangular style piece. So I just want a little bit like that. And then this is what the card looks like. So I have it right in the center and then I just created this little design uh, using some of the dies from the Darling Details bundle. All right, so that is the third way that you can use this. 
And then the last way is just using some stencils or some decorative masks. I am using one of the Artistic Mix decorative masks from Stampin' Up. And so it has some really large openings on it, which work perfect for this particular technique. And so I'm just going to line this up on my paper. I'm using the same size paper. So that's the four by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to add a little bit of washi tape just to kind of hold this mask down. And then I'm gonna take my crinkled up plastic and we're just gonna do the same thing except we're doing it over a mask. And so I recommend that you use a larger mask or stencil to do this so that you you know, can see the detail. If you have too much design on your um, mask, then you won't see all this fun little detail that you get from the plastic wrap. I think that looks pretty good. And then we'll remove our mask. And then you get a fun little design on your paper. And then of course you can decorate this any way that you like. For that last card with the stencil, so you can see I went a little bit heavy when I did my initial one. And this one is a little bit lighter so you can see the texture more. Um, but then this is the card design that I created once I did my decorative mask with the plastic wrap. Okay, so there you go. Now you have four different ways that you can use this plastic wrap technique in your card making. And if you enjoyed these card ideas, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.